Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we have a four-way split thanks to See You Never Productions. This is a killer slab of modern American death metal. You have four tracks, Torn in Half, Maul, Path to War, and Hanging Fortress, each with their own little card. Awesome stuff here. Considering these are four modern death metal bands from America, from all over the country. And that's awesome because each one of these bands brings their A-game to the plate here. And we have Torn in Half hailing from Massachusetts with Incineration of Existence, which is on right now. Killer death metal, very just vicious, awesome vocals, good stuff. Path to War, Love Bolt Thrower, and Coming off of this bad boy. Unjustified Genocide. Yeah. I can't wait to hear what Path to War has when it comes to a full length. Because they've legit just been killing it. Then we have the mighty Maul hailing from North Dakota where I'm pretty sure CU never is actually located. But um, I do like the art and layout and stuff here. The art's by um, at Gut Slaughter, Rama, and the layout and designs by uh, Clawweight, Ian Colazzo, project managed by uh, Garrett Alvarado of CU Never Presents. And ending things off from the state that hates me the most when it comes to just bad luck. Ohio and Hanging Fortress with Crypt Keeper. Which is a killer fucking song. Like, seriously. <laughs> really good stuff. And uh, a lot of this was mastered by the same person. Um, Patrick she cut at Underhill Recordings. Everything except for Path to War was actually mastered by Patrick at Underhill Recordings. But the Path to War song was mixed and mastered by Wyatt Oblerhauser. Sorry if I messed your name up, dude. But I really like how each band has separate Egyptian uh themed artwork what's up Nile? but um I really like it you know it's a great representation of modern American death metal it's pummeling it's down tuned it's what you kids want like seriously this is more I would say along the lines I'm 36 years old. I still like this type of stuff. But it's definitely made for a modern audience, I would say. You can call it OSDM again. I hate that term with a passion. I just don't like saying it. But this is such a cool split. And what's awesome about it too is a couple days ago, we went over this four band split. Which again, to me, this is a great example of what's going on with American modern death metal and it's fucking sick if you haven't checked out my discussion slash review on oxalate perpetuated blood spore and vivisect check it out because these two splits right here 
These are eight of America's best modern death metal bands when it comes to, I would say, upstarts. And when I say upstarts, I just mean like, not really established worldwide yet. Yet is the key word there. Because I'm sure in a while, these eight bands are going to make fucking moves. Especially, they already made moves. That got put out on vinyl and everything. I'm not sure about this one. I think this was very limited and it sold out, but it's still fucking cool. Like I was saying, the artwork, like I was looking a little closer. You got some skeletal mummies, Anubis, just chilling. And you might be like, but wait, doesn't Blood Incantation do that stuff? And the answer is yes. But, again, you know, there's nothing wrong with being inspired. It's not like they stole the artwork or anything like that. And none of these bands sound like Blood Incantation. So, check that off your list of reasons to not check this out. Trust me, this is the complete opposite of what you're probably expecting. This is pummeling, like I said, down-tuned, mostly American modern death metal. Cosmetics, hard shell, blue, funerary exhumation, funerary exhumation, exhumation, exhumate, exhumation, funerary exhumation. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> the pronunciation police, you you got me on this one. Funerary exhumation. I apologize, <laughs> but these four bands, like I was saying, you know, I feel they're some of the best modern American death metal bands that might not have been heard overseas yet, and this is a great example alongside this four-way split as well. That way, you get eight songs by eight modern American death metal bands. If you're looking for some new tunes, you can't really go wrong there. I mean, eight bands on two releases, fuck yeah. And the fact that it's all like some of their best material so far, especially from Vivisect. The Vivisect song on here, wow. I love... Love, love, love that Vivisec track. And the band still has copies of that. So check out Vivisec's Bandcamp. Now this is a different story when it comes to physical copies. I'll put each band's individual Bandcamp. If you can find this, grab it. Like seriously, it's totally worth listening to. It's awesome sounding. And... If you're already a fan of this new generation of American death metal, you're gonna fucking love it. But if you're new to the whole death metal game and you're looking for some younger bands that might be a, more along the lines of accessibility, where something like, and I mean nothing negative by this, 
where something like Cerebral Rot might be a little bit too filthy for somebody that's just getting into death metal. Like, let's say they heard the new Cannibal Corpse after listening to Slayer for 20 years, and they finally saw Cannibal Corpse on the last end of that Slayer tour. So they got in the Cannibal Corpse, but didn't go down the death metal rabbit hole. The new Cannibal Corpse record got their attention. Like, huh, let me see what else this Eric Rutan person has made. Next thing you know, that person is listening to Ripping Corpse. From Ripping Corpse, they're checking out Hate Eternal. From Hate Eternal, they check out Morbid Angel. From Morbid Angel, they check out Nocturnus. And it just leads all the way to Blood Incantation when it comes to modern American number one death metal band. I don't care what anybody fucking says. When it comes to the best United States modern American death metal band, That's my personal opinion. Not death doom. I'm talking straight up death metal. Blood incantation. And it's kind of funny because when it comes to death doom metal, one of my favorite American death doom bands, obviously. If you watch this channel, you already fucking know it. <laughs> so, I love me some spectral voice. I love blood incantation, but... At the end of the day, if you're looking for some kind of crispy, not too filthy, but heavy slabs of death metal, these four tracks on this split definitely will have your attention. You have Torn in Half with Incineration of Existence, Maul with Forced Cremation, Path to War with Immortal Domain, and if you like Bolt Thrower, you're going to love Path to War. And Hanging Fortress with Crypt Keeper. Hanging Fortress is really fucking good. I just started checking those guys out. Maul, awesome. Like, I I, oh, I really like Maul. I got to see Path to War live with um, Mutilatred and uh, Inoculation. And it was pretty good. They covered a Bolt Thrower song, so I was stoked. And Torn in Half, another band I'm kind of new to, and I really liked what I heard. So, um, yeah, this four-way split, it got my attention, but, you know, to me, when it comes to four American death metal bands, if somebody was to be like, hey, pick out four American death metal bands and let's make a compilation out of it, here's what I would choose off the top of my head right now right in front of me so give me two seconds so four bands i have two already i just want to make it so it's you could see the logos really easy all right there is three and one more makes four to make a very very awesome split here we go. Ah, oh, fuck. Fell out. Sorry, hold on. But, if I was in charge of a record label, here would be my split. You get a song from Altar of Gore. You would get a fetid track. You would get a Mortiferum track, and you would get a Mephetic Corpse track. Now, you could definitely take Mortiferum out and see, but if I was to add another NVNM band, you might as well check out one of the New Jersey Attack tapes, which have some of the best bands in American underground music, period. Massive Retaliation, Dethroned Emperor, Blasphematory, Siege Columns, Demos, NVNM fucking rules. DSS, 
Hell yeah. But let's say I had to get rid of Fetid as well. So we're dealing with two very filthy underground bands here. Who are the other two we should add to this? Well, they have to be American. So let's keep it fucking filthy. And we're going to go with Siverus. Wait till I go over this. I've been holding off on it because I fucking want to be able to give you a 100% legit review of Siverus's live promo tape. Because if this is what their full-length record's gonna sound like, holy fucking shit. But yeah, I would probably add Siverus to this list as well as a Praxic. Just to switch it up and make it weird and sick. Like, I think that'd be awesome. Or you could make it even fucking sicker and do it this way. Again, only American death metal bands. But one more little run real quick. Just one. Let's make this one a little more... Um, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what would make a real gnar. Oh, here we go. All right, so a really gnarly split. I have two already in my hand. Um, give me a second. This needs to be like proper. Because I don't want to get any bands that are on, like, an actual label. I'm sorry, I know I'm, like, wasting... I'm not wasting your time, but... I just want to make sure that we have some super sick bands here. And... God damn it. Oh, well. You know what? Here we go. This would This would mix it up. Yeah. Noxum. Mortem. Evulse. And Anthropophagus. That would be a fucking sick split, I think. But you never know. That's the thing about split releases, cassette tape culture and all that. You never know when something's going to get reissued or get a DIY release. Stuff like that happens all the time. And it's fucking, I think it's cool. But those would be my choices for a four-way split release when it comes to unsigned bands that already kind of have made their mark. I could go on again and go the other route and just choose bands that haven't made their mark yet. But here with Torn in Half, Maul, Path to War, and Hanging Fortress on Funerary Exhumation, you just get some killer fucking modern American death metal, as I've said before. And on See You Never Presents, boom. Links will be in the video description. I'm sorry if this is sold out, but check it out digitally regardless and enjoy the death. As always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Thank you, Aaron, for throwing this my way. I didn't even know this bad boy existed, so fucking heavy hails, dude. And as always, thanks at home for watching. You fucking rule as well. Hells. <laughs>